Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Uh, in this tutorial, I want to talk about a slider in Lumion that doesn't get used very often, and that is going to be the waxiness slider. Now, what the waxiness slider does is it gives you sort of a pseudo uh, subsurface scatter effect. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, um, it is basically when light uh, can pass through an object, but not entirely. So that the object is opaque in the sense of like a leaf or even human skin. That's a good example of it. If you hold a flashlight up to your hand, uh, even if you completely cover the light, you'll be able to see light coming through your hand, even though technically, um, you know, like your hand is blocking it. So a good example of this effect would be like this. Uh, and basically what this just does um, is, as you can see, like the, the thinner part, the lights are going to go through, but then kind of like the thick, uh, I guess, like the body of the object, uh, the light wouldn't be able to pass through that because it's too dense. Um, so I just thought the little picture would help there, but uh, I chose these three models here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these two are not free models, but they were the best, uh, in my opinion, to show the example. So uh, you often see this with uh, leaves and Lumion's Fine Nature actually has this built in. Uh, some people may notice that when you render it out, you kind of get uh, this, this really nice effect of like the light coming through the leaves with Fine Nature. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they do do that like if that's just the waxiness slider or if they actually have a special um, subsurface scatter uh, sort of effect on those trees but regardless uh, leaves are something that you see very often with this uh, so that's why I chose this model so I'm just gonna get under here and get a better angle now I've already gone through and just thrown on uh, kind of the, the polygon textures for this uh, it's not uh, like I said it's not anything too crazy this is just gonna be more of like a just me showing you kind of how, how it works and the general idea of it. Um, this is something you're gonna have to kind of play around with in your own model. Like if you wanna put waxiness on something, uh, you just kind of have to play around with it until you find something that is uh, realistic looking. Because as I said, this is technically, uh, Lumion's not actually calculating the subsurface scatter. It's kind of doing like a pseudo uh, effect where I think it just kind of calculates the edges and we're gonna get into that in a moment. So uh, if we come in here, now you can see that there's a transparency slider. So obviously this is the, uh, this is kind of like the alpha, uh, so you can just, uh, you know, if you, it's like something like curtains, you can just make it so that it's uh, slightly uh, transparent. But we want to have the waxiness turned on. And as soon as I move it from zero, you'll start to notice that the leaves are almost starting to light up. Uh, and that's because that sun is actually interacting with it. Now, from playing around with this, I noticed that if you put the slider to about 0.2, uh, that seems to work the best for leaves. Uh, and the reason is, is that it actually has kind of an interesting effect where it seems that if you pull it to point 0.2, it affects the edges. But then if you start dragging it closer to point 0.5 after point 0.2, then it actually starts to affect almost the density of like the core of the object. Uh, and I'll demonstrate this by going here. So I think that's a really good angle. And I think this is actually what they did for the Lumion example. That's why I uh, wanted to find a statue like this. So if it comes to about here, so as you can see, all the edges around the angel here, like especially the torch, that's all kind of getting lit up. Um, but then if you keep going, you can see that you can almost see like the like the core becoming darker right from the uh, right from like the center of it. So yeah, as you can see, like it's uh, it seems that from the, like the first half, as you can see, it affects the edges. But then as you keep going, it's the core that kind of gets affected. So if you pull all the way uh, to the right, or I guess 0.5, then the edges are going to be very light, but the core is going to be very dense. Whereas if it's only at about 0.2 or something like that, then the core is much lighter and it's, it's, it doesn't look as like heavy. And that's why um, the leaf uh, or the leaf uh, texture, in my opinion, works best with like 0.2 because um, if you kind of pull it all the way over here, you can see that like it doesn't, well, it doesn't look bad. I just don't think it looks as realistic as about here because uh, in, in real life, the leaf is going to be, it's not going to have like kind of darker parts. Like if the light is going through it, it's going to be pretty even. Um, and then that is really basically all I, I wanted to kind of show for this. I am just going to throw quickly in um, the, uh, the lemon and the lime example because I do think that fruit is another thing that you can kind of see this depending on the fruit um, where without the waxiness slider it almost looks like this really like hard object and it doesn't look um i guess like it, it just really looks like it, it looks almost like fake fruit but then as soon as you kind of you can see like if it was at zero if i just as soon as i start to drag it up 
then that kind of like cold plastic look goes away. And it's literally as soon as it's off zero, like if you go to just right here, you can already see that the fruit looks uh, much more realistic and that it's interacting a lot more with the light. Um, so if you're doing like a, a close up scene in a kitchen, this might be something you want to look into. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, if you make it point two for this, that's a little too high because then it'll basically make it so that the, uh, the fruit is completely see-through. But then if you go to point five again, as you can see, the core is kind of darkening. So I don't recommend using that one for this either, uh, but it is good to kind of see that. So for this, I would honestly just keep it around like point one. Um, so if you're actually doing a candle, I think that point three would be pretty good or maybe even like point five, depending on how dense you want that core to be. Whereas when we look at the leaf example, point two or point three, uh, tend to get a more realistic effect. And then if you're looking at something like the fruit there, I'd probably only do about a point one um, because that one, as we said, we want a little bit of light to kind of get absorbed uh, by the, the lemon and the lime, but you don't want it to just be completely transparent because obviously you're not gonna be able to see the light through that, uh, but it will, um, it will kind of go into the skin a bit and absorb some light. So as I said, that's just kind of what you have to play around with and you have to use your best judgment. Um, it's another one of those things it's not really a right or wrong it's just that you should know all the tools uh, that are available to you uh, to make the best scene so uh, we're also going to come in here and turn this on and I, I think that right away even without rendering it you can really see the difference um, so I am going to end it there uh, this video didn't need too too long um, I guess of an explanation um, I will also be putting uh, some renders of each of these um, objects with, uh, I don't know, maybe like 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 uh, waxiness on. And then um, if you want to download those from the drive, I'll leave the link below and you can just kind of flip through them and sort of see the difference. Uh, I also will put this uh, angel statue um, in the, the link below. It, uh, it came off a of CG trader. Um, but I just think that it, it works really well because you have a lot of areas like the wings and the torch that are kind of like, um, they become much more uh, translucent um, than, and it also has like kind of the core. So it's a really easy example to kind of see how it works. Uh, I will also leave a link to these two models because they are ones that I really like from Polygon. But as I mentioned, they are not free models. Um, I just thought that they, you know, they were kind of too good to pass up for this one. So yeah, uh, I will leave it there. Uh, I just want to thank everyone uh, for stopping by the channel. And uh, if this helped you out at all, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a subscribe. Um, and if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great night.